Christina Hinton and I teach at Harvard Graduate School of Education and I'm also the founder and executive director of Research Schools International. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the work that we do um, to bridge the gap between research and practice. So in most industries and fields, research and practice are integrated and linked. For example, in the field of medicine, there are teaching hospitals where practitioners are working alongside researchers to make sure that new scientific advances are continually incorporated into practice. Um, in education, however, that's the exception, not the rule. Um, so in education, we have this gap between research and practice. Um, on the one hand, we have researchers who are carrying out very interesting work, theoretically, um, which will be useful over time, but isn't always necessarily connected to the needs on the ground of practitioners. Um, on the other hand, we have practitioners who are doing innovative things in their classroom, but it's not always informed by uh, the, re the latest research coming out of academia. And so you have this missed opportunity where there's a lot of great information about, um, about learning and teaching coming from academia, and it's not necessarily taken into account in the classroom. So we're trying to kind of bridge that gap um, and, and support collaboration between researchers and teachers. Um, so John Dewey actually started this laboratory school um, over 100 years ago where he had uh, teachers working alongside researchers to help kind of create new findings. Um, and so the idea is that it was both a working school and a, a lab for new findings. Um, and so we're trying to kind of reconnect with that vision and we've partnered with multiple schools around the world on six continents now. Um, where we're working very closely with living schools um, to carry out research. And so our process ensures that the research is actually responsive to the needs of teachers and, and students and administrators on the ground, um, and so that we, our research can help inform um, what they're doing. Our process has three main components, research, professional development, and dissemination of findings. So the schools define the research needs. So we go to them and we ask, what are your needs and interests on the ground as practitioners? Um, and they come up with the questions. Then we as researchers help them answer their own questions um, using research methodologies. And once we have the findings, then we carry out professional development. So we hold workshops at each of the partner schools where we share the findings that that we came up with out of our research process, and we also work with the practitioners about how can we take these findings and incorporate them into practice. Um, and so it's very concretely tied to the practice that they're doing at the schools. Um, we also hold an annual symposium where we bring together all our partner schools to share findings together. And then finally, we disseminate our findings to the education community broadly. So after we've carried out research with our partner schools, we then create usable knowledge out of the projects. And usable knowledge is knowledge that's accessible and engaging for practitioners that's based in research. Um, so it's something that practitioners can pick up and use right away. So we want to create usable knowledge from our projects um, and then disseminate them and share them with educators worldwide, so anyone who's interested. Um, so just to give you an example of a project, in one of our projects we worked on growth mindset. Um, so we developed a course to teach uh, students growth mindset and pro-social skills. And we worked with the school partners very closely in developing the course, uh, both with teachers as well as with students who gave us some really fun feedback um, along the way. And then we carried out a controlled experimental study where we tested the impact of this course on the students. Um, and we did find actually that it was effective in, in supporting growth mindset. So now we're in the process of creating usable knowledge pieces out of it um, that we'll be able to share with other students and other practitioners who might be interested.